I'm gonna do a video on loose lead walking with my foster dog, his name's Mookie. Um, he's been generalized, uh, sorry, he's been diagnosed with general anxiety. So this dog is the real deal. Um, when I first got, got him, he was um, basically afraid of everything. So one of the vets called it neophobia. Um, afraid of everything. And uh, we've been on a, a we've been on a journey. We've been on a journey, man. So, and one of those one of those things is loose lead walking. Um, he's at a point now where he checks in consistently, uh, but sometimes when there's things in the environment, um, you know, overwhelming stimulus, uh, he can still pull. So, I want to show some of the techniques I've used for Mookie. Again, it's not going to work for every dog. It worked for Mookie because I figured out what makes him tick and um, what was going to motivate him. So, check it out. Okay, so the key to teaching a dog loose lead walking is to start in a familiar environment. So here you can see I'm at the side of the house. There's very, very little or no distractions whatsoever. And I'm just building up some repetitions uh, with Mookie, uh, walking up and back. As you can see, when he checks in, um, he gets a treat. So I'm capturing that behavior as we go. And the idea is that I'll fade out uh, the food uh, in the future and put it more on an intermittent sort of basis. So Why? I'll give him a treat every now and then, as opposed to all the time. Um, we then move out the fronts. And again, uh, we're minimizing the distractions, but we might have a car drive past or you know, someone might ride past or things like that. Um, but here we want to continue those reps and just watch Mookie's body language the whole time to make sure he's comfortable. Okay, so now we move to street level and I'm on a quiet road, um, but you can't see on the video, but there's actually quite a bit of activity here because I'm near a school, so there's a few people around. So to keep him engaged, um, I continue on with the one, two, three game. Now, I'm sort of doing this quite a lot on this walk just for the purpose of the video, but Mookie and I have got to the stage where we faded that out a fair bit. One. And here we continue on. Two. And, um, you know, it's not perfect. Um, he's showing signs of uh, stress. You can see he's heavy panting. Okay, so for the last part of the video, you can see he's in a sit position. So um, that's a separate video in itself, but I've uh, queued a sit. So every time he goes to the traffic lights or crosses a road, um, he does sit. And um, that's something that's to be done, first of all, with no distractions. But you can see here, he's uh, choosing to check in. His stress levels have uh, come down a little bit, I suppose, but um, he's a bit more comfortable in, in that he can check in. All right, for the last part, I just wanted to show what is possible. This is my dog, Bo. Uh, he's an absolute superstar. I've had him since a puppy. He's been a dream to train. Um, and Stop. as I mentioned earlier, every dog right. is an individual. Three, um, you can see here I've got some pretty cool tricks. You know, he pushes Three, the man. pedestrian yes. light, goes for okay. a twice. Go home. Um, but on this walk, I've uh, on, there's no lead. Go. I do have a harness on him, just in case, because yep. you never know, something might kick off. Um, so I need to attach it, but there's no lead. And in showing what's possible, we're sort of running back to the house there and he's just sort of staying along my side. Uh, no treats, uh, but we've built that up over time. So that shows you what's possible. Um, as I mentioned okay. earlier, every dog is an individual. Um, so the behavior modification or loose lead training plan will change depending on the dog. I just want to add that uh, some of the best trainers in the world and really some of the trailblazers are from the USA as well. So. Some of the methods you saw um, you used with uh, Mookie, they're from USA-based uh, trainers. Um, one of the main methods is uh, Leslie McDevitt, if you want to check her out. Uh, she's got some really cool methods, uh, particularly for dogs that have um, sort of anxiety and um, issues regulating their stress. Um, Leslie McDevitt does a lot of work with, uh, with patterns, which is really cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for more. I'm going to be making heaps more videos uh, from here on out. So stay tuned. Cheers. For more videos like this, like and subscribe. Cheers.